Today I want to talk a little bit about through curve mesh. More so some of the options that we have that are important to keep in mind when we are creating our through curve mesh. So we select our primary curves. Again, we're creating a mesh and primary curve one. Again, this could be a long chain. Primary curve two. I'm using the middle mouse button to proceed to the next element. I'm done with my primary curves. Now I want to select my cross curves. Cross curve one, cross curve two. Now you'll notice the surface goes in nice and clean. If I zoom up on my sections, you'll also notice that, let's set a reference rotation point, the surface doesn't actually touch either the cross string or the primary string. And the reason why this happens is if we go all the way down to the bottom, you'll notice that I have a tolerance and I have what's called an intersection tolerance. I've turned my intersection tolerance way up. These curves deviate approximately a millimeter off. So what this is telling me is when I'm creating my mesh, I'm allowed to deviate off of those strings this amount of distance. Now, you'll notice that I have some rebuild options here. This is just if you want to simplify the shape for the primary and the cross strings as well. If I go to output surface options, you'll see what I have what's called as an emphasis. This emphasis works with its intersection. Right now the emphasis is set to both. If I change this and say primary, what you'll notice is that the surface now runs the primaries and uses the cross strings as a suggestion for uh, the shape going in that direction. If I change this to cross, you'll notice that the surface runs through the actual cross strings. So it's very important that as you're creating these surfaces, you understand what specifically the output surface option for emphasis is and the intersection tolerance. There's going to be times when you build your meshes that the cross strings and the primaries don't actually touch. And again, that's perfectly acceptable so long as you understand what you're doing with that final surface output. So if I come in here and verify that this is within an allowable tolerance, one way that I like to do it is I'll take this and I'll just turn this down to let's say half a mil and you'll see, yep, it doesn't cross any of these things. It's giving me an error message. If I go up to one millimeter, you'll see it's still not enough. I go up to 1.1, there we go. So we know that I have something wrong at the interface of these strings. Or maybe it's just fine for what you're doing. You're allowing that tolerance. Um, all you're doing is adopting that shape, in this case of the cross string, and it's being imprinted onto the surface as it goes through those primary strings. You'll see um, this condition typically more often where the primary strings are the emphasis, the cross strings are more of a uh, sort of a, a recommendation of shape, not, uh, not has to run through the actual curve, but uh, again, it has to be well within a respected tolerance. Now, when you start doing things like this, you have to be cautious with the continuities, and we'll talk about continuities in another video. You've seen me talk about them in other videos, but I'll, I'll get more specific here within through curve mesh. Um, in, with respect to the emphasis surface and how the surfaces run through and such. So you may actually uh, paint yourself into a corner if you're not really careful by having clean uh, cross strings and having clean primary strings. And again, you know, the rebuild is based off of if I have very complex shapes, I may be able to go in here and modify those shapes. These curves are relatively simple, so I don't have to really worry about a, a rebuild. But uh, there are certain instances where, again, you're using curves that have multiple segments. You're, they're creating uh, deviations, and you want to control those, what those deviations are based off of those segments, or you want to clean up those segments into one nice, cleaner, smoother curve. Rather than um, you manually cleaning up the curve, again, this is sort of an automatic option to clean up the curve. But you will, again, deviate off of the original primary off of the original cross string by allowing these um, automatic build types. So those are some of the more important options for through curve mesh 
again, pay very close attention to your emphasis for your output and your intersection, because those two work together.